Hey guys, and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. If you've never heard of us, you should definitely check out our website. It's all about male grooming, uh, wet shaving. We do a lot of video reviews and other reviews on uh, safety razors, straight razors, bowls, soaps, creams, brushes, all that kind of stuff. But today we're going to be doing a video on how to shave with a safety razor. And there's a lot of steps to this. It's probably going to be a long time, so take a good seat, get comfortable, and let's begin. So. Um, we're not going to be talking about the history of shaving or the benefits of shaving. I'm not even going to show you how to build a lather. I'm going to do that really quickly and fast forward through that part. But if you guys want to learn how to do that, there's another video on how to build a lather. Also, the benefits of shaving with a safety razor and the history of it. All, all that content's on the website, so check that out. Um, so today I'm going to be using Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving cream. The sandalwood is my favorite, so I save that for you guys. I'm going to be using Derby Extra Blades for my safety razor. The safety razor I'm going to be using is my Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL, and that is what I do recommend for uh, beginners because it's not very aggressive. So I have a fresh new Derby blade in there. I have my Edwin Jagger brush getting heated in a bowl of warm water in my Edwin Jagger porcelain shaving cup. I have reviews of all these products on my website. But uh, let's get started. I'm gonna make a lather real fast and I'm gonna fast forward through that part. So let me just do that real fast. Alright guys, um, so here we are. I have a, an abundant amount of shaving cream. Um, tons. So this is probably one of the easiest creams to whip up is the um, Taylor of Old Bond Street. And my whole bathroom smells like smells like sandalwood. That's one of my favorite things. So what you want to do first thing before you start wet shaving is that you want to come right out of the shower. So all your hairs are really soft and it's really easy to cut through. If you don't take a shower, I do recommend putting like a like a, a warm washcloth with warm water and letting it sit on your face for at least a couple minutes to soften up the hairs. And since it took me a little bit of time to do this whole setup, I my hairs have gotten a little bit dry, so I'm going to re soften them with a little bit of warm water right now. There we go. So before you guys apply the lather, before your first time wet shaving, what you should notice is which way your hairs grow on your face. You could even draw it out on a piece of paper. So for me, in general, they grow down on my face. And then once you get to the jawline, they start growing that way on me. So your first pass with shaving with a safety razor, you want to go with the grain. So for me, it's going to be straight down on my face, and then it's going to be kind of an angle on my jawline and on my neck. And then your second pass is across grain. So if you if with the grain is down, across is from left to right or right to left. And then if you want to get a baby butt smooth shave, the closest shave you could get, you want to go against the grain. For me, I just like going with the grain and then a cross grain, just because if I get too close, I'll break out, especially on my chin. I usually just go with the grain on my chin, and then I'll do cross grain on my upper lip, on my cheeks, and on my neck, I'll just go straight down because that's semi a cross grain for my neck. So let's get started, I'm gonna lather up. Alright guys, so I'm all lathered up, and I like doing circular motions while I'm lathering. Um, so what you want to do, you want to grab your safety razor, and I usually have a little bit of water running to, to clean in between the blade and the safety bar in between passes. So what you want to start off doing, the correct angle is approximately 30 degrees, so if you turn your safety razor, your blades straight up and down, 
That is zero degrees. And you won't catch anything with the blade. What you want to do is to kind of rotate the handle to 10 degrees and you'll start feeling it catch a little bit, but it won't be smooth, it won't be cutting right through the hair very well. And you want to start on your side burn. But once you get to about 30 degrees, you make your first pass. Straight down. And you can turn it around. And make a couple more passes. Since this safety razor is relatively not aggressive, that's why I recommend it for beginners, you should have no trouble cutting yourself, even if you don't get the perfect angle, okay? I'm shaving with the grain right now. And once you get to the neck, since I kind of shave like this on my neck because my hairs grow like that. But what you want to do is you want to tackle the the, uh, the flattest surface first. So your cheeks, your neck, and the jawline is going to be the hardest. This is going to be a little bit harder, but you want to try to stretch your skin to get it as flat as you can, okay? That's the goal. See, I'm kind of going at an angle on my neck just because me in particular, that's the way my hair grows. So that is with the grain at a slight angle. So once again, test out on this side, and you could, if you're, I mean, some people use their left hand for their left side, their right hand for the right side, but I like to just use my right hand for both because I'm way right hand dominant, so I just find that angle, here's zero, tilt to 10, fill tag, and then get to 30, and that's the right angle that you should be shaving at. And for the corners of the mouth, I kind of try to, I don't know, kind of move your, <laughs> move your face, move your mouth in the right way so you flatten that side. Instead of like smiling, you couldn't really do that, you cut yourself. As you can see, I flattened that side of my mouth. So as I mentioned, my, once I get to the jawline, the hair start going that way, so I kind of do uh, a left to right. Once I get to the jawline, because it's a pain for me. And in terms of retouches, like I am doing some small retouches uh, on areas. Uh, the only reason I'm doing that is because Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving cream is pretty slick. Slick shaving cream is fairly slick, so I can go back and make retouches because there's, it's still very slick on my face.
Okay, that was my first pass with, with the grain. I'm gonna wash off real fast and then we'll do another pass uh, across the grain. And pretty much same on the neck, just straight down. And I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so I'm gonna re-lather right now. And then I'll talk about how to hold the safety razor. Uh, I didn't talk about that on my first pass, but I will talk about it right now with you guys. Oh, I love this Bay Rum scent. Okay, so turn off the water. How do you want to hold it? All right, so every safety razor has a balance point, right? Um, on here, the balance point is slightly be, be below the Edwin Jagger emblem, and that's perfect balance point for me. So that's where I hold it. This is my uh, my with the grain holding. Sometimes I put my ring finger, my pinky finger on the bottom. If it has a long handle, I'll put my pinky finger on the bottom. Put my ring finger on the bottom. My index, my middle, wrapping around, and my pointer finger just to hold it. And you want to hold it with like a a soft grip, you don't want to be squeezing it because you don't want to involve a lot of muscles when you're shaving. You don't want to be pulling it with your with your with your back and your shoulder and your bicep and all those muscles of your hand. You don't want to be going like that. You just want to kind of let the weight of the razor, especially with the grain, the first pass that I did. But yeah, try to use the weight of the razor. That's why I like heavier razors in general, because the weight of the razor is kind of goes down. You don't want to be digging into your skin, especially your first time. If you don't get the angle right, you can cut yourself a lot. So let the weight, weight of the razor do the work. Light grip like this. If you're going to go against the grain, you're just going to flip it over like that and find 30 degrees. It's just going to take practice finding 30 degrees when you go up, 30 degrees when you go down, 30 degrees when you go across the grain. So I'm going to do across the grain right now. And the only place I don't go across the grain is on my is on my chin because even getting that close, I break out. I break out pretty easily. So and then I'll switch my grip to like a grip like this. Like here's doing my right side, and then my here's my left side because I use my right hand the whole time. And then the cross grain on my neck is kind of going like this, like as, he, as I said, like this is with the grain, so like this is kind of cross grain. You can hear it. So yeah, I'm in chin. I'll just go with the grain again. And down. That looks pretty good. So. 
And then let's get a clean lip line. And then getting right underneath the nose is pretty hard. My strategy, I don't like going like that because I cut myself, it'll catch on the nostril. So I just go down and try to lengthen my upper lip as much as I can. This looks pretty good. So as close as I like to go. Okay, and then I usually, I usually at the end I just wash off with cold water, and I just pat myself dry. I don't want to irritate the skin because my skin is semi-sensitive, so I pat dry. I'm gonna check for any spots. It's looking pretty good. Maybe a little spot right there. That's good. So yeah, check for any spots, do some tiny retouches um, that you need. And yeah, I hope that hopefully that hopefully that video was helpful for you guys. Um that's how to shave with a safety razor. Edwin Jagger D89 LBL. Super, super non-aggressive, uh, great for beginners. That was my first one, so that's why I was using it today for you guys. Uh, but overall, good shave and happy with it. Hope you guys learned something. Remember, 30 degrees, start perpendicular, move your way to 10, feel a tug, then move to 30. You don't want to go straight in at 45. You can cut yourself, especially if you don't have a, a mild safety razor like that or if you're using a too sharp of a blade. Derbies are great beginner blades. Edwin Jagger, DE89LBL. Check out, there'll be a link in the description to that. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful for you guys. Um, definitely check out primandprep.com. We have a lot more wet shaving information, a lot more male grooming tips, tons, tons of male grooming tips. It'll be in a link down below also. And uh, please subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Uh, Tell me what you want in the comments. I'll try to make a video about what you guys want. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys next time.